As a young man, Galileo toyed briefly with the idea of becoming a priest. Instead, he entered the University of Pisa as a medical student in 1581. The curriculum at Pisa was prescribed by the Jesuit authorities in Rome. Even the anatomy diagrams in Galileo's textbooks had to be approved by the Jesuits. Galileo left medicine behind after only a few months and began instead to study mathematics. Among the many writings he left behind is an eloquent tribute to the power of mathematics to illuminate the world. This grand book, The Universe, could only be understood if one learned to comprehend the language and the alphabet in which it is composed. That is, the language of mathematics. Triangles, and circles, and geometric figures, without which it was impossible, humanly impossible to understand a word of it. Without it, one wandered as in a dark labyrinth. It's so confusing, the world. Where do we find truth? Where is the real truth? And there was a sort of consensus which Galileo felt very deeply that in mathematics you had real truth. If there was anywhere where human beings could think like God, it was when they were thinking about mathematics. So let's combine precise observation of nature and let's apply that one technique of thought which we know God will share with us, which is mathematics, and let's put the two together, and then we will have a really secure foundation on which we can study things.